You don't bring me flowers. What's happening here is Barbara is mad because Neil hasn't been bringing her flowers as often as he used to, and she sees it as a sign he doesn't love her anymore. Flowers can say a lot. Mitchell Cohn, the owner of Edwards Flowers in Youngstown, knows that. His grandmother knew it too. It got started by my father in 1947, who was putting off going to a dance. Or actually, he was going to a dance, and he put off getting a corsage, and my grandmother really wanted him to take a corsage. So on the day of the dance, Edward Cohn went to the only store that was open. He made it in five minutes. It was $5, and he went back and told his mother he was going in the flower business because if anybody can make something in five minutes and make five bucks, <laughs> that's the business he was going in. Edward's Flowers. Cohn says right now is one of their busiest times of the year with Thanksgiving, Christmas and Valentine's Day all coming up. And then we have our wedding season. Uh, June, July and August is a big wedding season. But no matter what the occasion, Cohn says they can get almost any type of flower at any time. There's not much of a per se season anymore. Uh, because of getting things from Holland and different South America, California. But he says he purchases most of the flowers locally. There's a wholesale house very close to us on uh, downtown Youngstown, and we purchase a, a good portion of our product from them. Edwards Flowers is located on Elm Street, opposite its original location. Cohn says they employ 11 full-time workers from delivery drivers to floral designers. Richard Hart is one of the floral designers, and he said I could watch him make some pieces provided I didn't get in the way. Large palm leaves, and then fill it through with the baker fern, and just add your flowers. Okay, you make it sound really easy. It's pretty basic. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, are you sharpening those? Sharpening those? No. No? Oh. Well, I put a point on them, just slides them in easier. Well, that's what I mean by sharpening yeah. them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hart has been a floral designer for 26 years and has been working at Edwards Flowers for about five and a half. And he says on a busy day, he'll make over 20 pieces. And then, you know, depending on two, we have a wedding tomorrow, so I have, you know, 20 center pieces to do for that. Oh. Yeah, so, you know. Uh, am I bothering you? No. <laughs> it all depends on, uh, you know, early funeral work that's traditionally done uh, the day before. So we're ready in the morning. You are really doing a good job humoring me, Richard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in 1993, Edwards Flowers opened a second location in Liberty, and Cohn says he would like to find a bigger location for the Elm Street store. However, should the location change, Cohn says the way the business is run will always stay the same. My father taught me to be fair and treat people the way you want to be treated, and it's been a successful hint for us. For The Daily Buzz, I'm Michael Moliterno. Oh,